Welcome everybody to the Genesis Mindset and in today's episode what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be sharing with you working together as liquidity providers and how it equals more compounded gains. So working with the boys. So as you guys know I'm all about working together, collaborating together and winning together. This is this is what I'm all about. I mean coexistence Stephen should be self-explanatory. So what I'm going to do, I have actually covered liquidity providing in my in my channel before. So if you're on the computer, you can actually go to my channel. You can search liquidity providing. And I'd recommend just looking at all the different videos. I'd also recommend looking at Access Alive and Crypto Sloth. They are exceptional in this area and they're really the goats in this area. But if you want those little bits of alpha, you can check out some of the videos on my channel. Check out some of the videos with Sunny. Check out the video with Steady Pup, PLS Pup. But in the meantime, this particular video is going to go over very similar things. So how to find a good pair, how to make the pair, how to record it, and then how to actually calculate your gains. So with that, let's go into the share screen. So just going to use this example here. So this is Die Hard and Die Stablecoin, so PDI. So what we can see here, so I'll just show it to Die. What we can see here is the market cap is 952 market cap. I'm going to put that on the daily. The liquidity is 144K and the volume is 3K. So the volume is quite decent. So let's just say we're looking for a pair. I've got some die, I've got some die hard, and I want to create a liquidity pool. Now, I'm not saying this is a good liquidity pool. I'm, you, you, you might not even want to do this at all. Like just holding the die hard is, is exceptional. But I'm just using this as an example because I have this in my in my donation wallet. So that's why I'm going to show with this. So what I would do here, okay, this is the pair that I want to do. Copy the pair address, super simple. So it's on deck screen, I copy the pair, pair address. Then we're going to go over to Pulse X. So Pulse X, when you load up Pulse X to start with, it's going to start here in the exchange. Now, what you can do, you want to go to these three three dots here and then go to info and then this is going to bring you to the analytics you've got v1 and v2 i generally always do v2 liquidity pools because v2 gives you the yield v1 is more about getting the yield towards pulse x so now i'm going to go here search pools and i've copied that pool address i'm going to copy and paste it here because i want to get an idea about how much yield this is actually going to give me so let's have a look here it's kind of a bit sucky, uh, not going to lie. So it does take a little bit of time to load. And I might even, might, even, might even have to pause it by the time it loads. Okay, that's actually taking forever to load. So yeah, it's extremely slow. Uh, PulseX, it might be the time of the day. Some pools just, they don't want to load. But in any case, once you're here, you can actually get an idea of the top pools. So if you have a look at this, LUSD and Pulse Chain, has anyone got a liquidity pool in that? I certainly do. GME is also rocking. And then DAI, PDI to Pulse Chain. So that's another mega, mega liquidity pool. So you can also go to pools and it will show, let's see if this, so what I actually did with this particular one I saved it. So I'm going to have a look here if we can actually... Okay, so that's better. If you do want to do this fast, I just figured this method out now. You copy and paste the thing up here and you press this little star. So obviously at the moment it's start, it's in my favorite. So then when I go to pools, I can actually bring it up. So, oh crap, it's started quite a few times. So it's a little bit, little bit dodge, but that's going to be the better, more efficient way of doing that. So we just figured that out live on stream right here. So it's, again... Once you've copied it here, so make sure if it's a V2 pool, if you copy and paste the address here and it's on V1, it won't come up. So you want to make sure that it's on V2 because it's a V2 pool. Copy and paste, die, die hard, press the save, go to pools, and then it's going to have your watch list, then click here. So what have we got here? Okay, so the liquidity. This is going to give us all the details. So the LP rewards is 2.43% in the last seven days. It's down 15, essentially 15.5%. The 24-hour volume is down 69%. And out of LP reward fees is $6.79. So this is just going to give you an idea of the kind of pools that you can have. Now, if we go back to, just so we can compare, we'll go to this pool, this one here, LUSD. Let's see how this bad boy is performing. So very different, right? Look at the LP rewards there, 169%, 313 
0.84. Now, this is not always entirely accurate. This is the issue with this. So just, just be mindful, but this is just going to give you a rough idea. So now let's just say, okay, I've chosen die, P die. I want to actually make that liquidity pool. So then I'm going to go over to here, back to trade, go to exchange, go add liquidity. Now be very careful. Get into the habit straight away, V2. I've made pools where I've accidentally done it on V1. And you think, oh, wow, I've got to make a pool. But it actually is only because uh, it, it isn't on V2, uh, V1 rather. So, so now, for example, on V1, let's just say I do this. I'm going to put my max P. Damn, boy. All right, so V, it's going to automatically. So, so this is an example. So it would give me 41% of the pool. And you think, awesome, 41% of the pool. That means I'm getting 41% of the yield of the total yield for that day because I own that much of the pool. But on V2, it's generally going to be a lot smaller. So here you go. It's only 1.34% because everybody does V2 because that's where you get the yield. So by adding liquidity, you'll earn 0.22% of all trades on this pair proportional to your share of the pool. Fees are added to this pool, so on and so forth. So insufficient die balance. I'm just going to go to die. I'm not going to do this because I can't actually do it because I don't have enough pulse chain, but it doesn't require much pulse chain at all. It's like, it'll be like a few hundred pulse chains. So you enable that, you enable that, and then it's going to actually create it. So let's just imagine now I've created it. Now it's going to appear here. So this is what I do. This is my process. Now it's actually recorded. Let's just say I'm just going to do, uh, I'm going to do this. So someone donated me this. So shout out to whoever donated me this. Like, thank you very much. Absolute goats. I mean, you know, these little things is, is it just leave this in here for years. Who cares? I might add to it as well one day. So let's just say die. So this is E die and P die. So what I'll do is I'll copy that. And then I'm going to go to my Microsoft Word. So this is where I record everything. So here's an example. So this is my TUSD and PLS pool. So what I'll do is I'll copy that there. And then once I've actually created the pool, oopsies. So I'm going to go back to my pulse chain. So once that happens, you'll get like a little pop-up here, here where it says view on Block Explorer. So view it on Block Explorer, and then it will give you all the information there for how much you've actually put in. So it'll be very self-explanatory. Again, if you want to just double check these things, I'll go through it in more detail. So let's just say die and, and P die. So then I'll enter here how much die was in there. So let's just say for that one, I'm just making these numbers up, but do it exactly. Just do it exactly. I'm only doing this for the purposes of, of showing you guys why, why you want to record this. And then 0 0.01 P die, for example. And then also I'll copy and paste how much market cap is at the time. So if I am on this one here, so this is, Hopefully this is not going to be confusing for you guys. So I'll copy the market cap, the liquidity. So 952, 144 and 3K volume. And then I'll record that here. So again, that was die and die hard. This is just an example. So what was it? 952K and then market cap and then uh, whatever it was, 145K liquidity. Uh, and then I think it was 3K volume. And then I'll copy and paste also the transaction hash. So I've always got the transaction hash. So that will also be in the auto scan when it says view on the block explorer. And then also I'll record the date. So today is the 7th of June, 2024. So these are the, this is all the information that I want. Oh, just for the sake of this, I want it all on the same line. So it's nice and neat. So then here, then I've got it recorded. Then I want to start monitoring it over time. So why would I monitor it? because you want to know how much yield you're actually getting. So let's say I come back to this in a month's time and I've actually got, this is where people trip up, 0 0.4 die. And then I've got 0.003 P die, for example. Now you're thinking, oh no, I've lost, I've lost some die, but I've got a little bit more P die. Oh, but I had in permanent loss here, but this went up. Then what I will do is I will take what I'm in the positive of. So after a month, even after a week, you can start to just, just keep track of it after a month. So what have I got here? So what's the surplus? So here I've got minus 0 0.1 and here I've got plus 0 0.002. So then what I will do 
is I'll copy and paste this 0 0.02 and then I'll go back to Pulse X. And then once I'm on the exchange, then I'm going to go to die. And again, this is not going to be accurate in any way, shape or form, but essentially, so the, it was PDI. So then what I'm going to do is I copy and paste this 0 0.02. And as long as this number, if this number, so at the moment, this number is lower. So this number is much lower than, let's go back to it just so it's clear. We, whoops. We want this number here to be at least, oops, bugger, at least, at least 0 0.1. If it's 0 0.1, then we've broken even. If it's more than 0 0.1, then that's how much yield we've actually generated in that pool. So let's say, for example, it was 0 0.03. So if I traded this P die back to the original amount and I still ended up with surplus die, then I've gained. But if it was negative and it was less, and the only reason why it's showing less as well is because these numbers aren't accurate, but you will get some pools that are like that where it will be less because there's not enough volume actually flowing through it. So as long as this, then I'll, what I'll do, I'll, I'll record this. Okay, so then I'll, I'll type, um, this is a winning pool because I have just, just for the sake of this, so not using what I just showed in the exchange there, this would be a winning pool because once I trade uh, my P die back into the die, I might end up having plus 0 0.01 extra die. So in the end, I'm left with 0 0.06 die and back to 0 0.001 P die. So I've got plus 0 0.1. So it's like, yes, that's a good win or a a good win. I mean, that's a good win because it ends up being, it ends up being like plus 25%. Essentially, that's that's a ripper of a pool. So then you're like, wow, that was plus 25%. Tiny amount, but if it was plus 25%, then I can start going balls deep. And then also just for my own sake, I'll just put little colors here and I'll bold it out. So I know that's a good win. And if it was a loss, I'll put a red and then a loss. So then it's like, okay, I'm not going to bother with that liquidity pool. Now, this is where doing it with the boys actually helps. So that gets compounded daily. So if more volume comes in with your boys and your boys all say, look, let's give life to this liquidity pool. So I've got $100 in there. Then my boys come in, they put $100 and then they put $100. All of a sudden that liquidity pool is generating $300 worth of volume rather than just $100. Therefore, it's actually compounding at a faster rate. So because you're working together, the compounding also goes up higher together. So it's all about the daily compounding games. The more volume you have in that pool, the better it is for you, the better it is for your boys. So it's actually better to work together. That's one of the things that I love about liquidity providing and working together. So I'm actually experimenting with a pool with my boys from the Fibonacci fund and we, we've actually got a nice little liquidity pool and it's just tokens that are sitting there. Tokens that are sitting there that I don't intend on selling for a very long time. So why not put it into a liquidity pool, generate yield, become an owner in the in become an owner in crypto. And it also might it might be liquidity, it might be tokens that I don't plan to sell either in this cycle or for a very long time, maybe th two or three cycles. So why not put it in a liquidity pool and put it to work? Why not become an owner? of the decentralized financial system and do it with your boys. So when you work together, you win together, you compound, you get higher liquidity gains, you get higher yield, and that's what it's all about. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully it made a lot of sense. If it didn't, I do apologize. It's I'm probably going to maybe do another video in the future where I actually go through step by step and it will might make it a little bit clearer. But for now, I think I'm just, again, just trying to mature you guys to the idea. So Thank you very much. Take care.